Hi, I'm Steve Strauss, and this is a little segment I like to call Books from My Mom's House. You see, I'm hunkered here at my parents' house, and I found this old bookcase, and I've always heard you can learn a lot about a person by looking at their books. So let's take a look, shall we? First of all, here's a lovely picture of good old mom and dad. Let's see. We'll start with Mind Over Mood. Changing how you feel by changing the way you think. A very fitting book here as we're all hunkered down together. Then we've got, of course, Successful Aging. A real crowd pleaser that works for you whether you're 34, 47, or 119. All the tricks you might ask for. Chicken Soup for the Woman's Soul. I'd be sure to read a copy of this before every date I go on. Make sure I'm in the know. Then we've got, uh, oh, what is a Jew? Because what bookcase is, in, is complete without a copy of that? Of course, we've got some self-esteem. You know, because we all need a little bit more confidence in our lives. And if you're not sure about this one, just take a look at the authors. I mean, wonderful, bearded-looking, rugged fellas that, you know, spent a lot of time perfecting their tips over the years. And by the way, if that book isn't the right one for you, we've got my all-time favorite, 10 Days to Self-Esteem. You know, because this fella has got a wonderful special turtleneck, and he's got to know what he's talking about. And let's be honest, you should be able to get more confident in a week and a half. Getting the love you want, a guide for couples. I'm thinking my parents may have had some issues early on in their marriage. And of course, when that didn't, didn't work, we tried Relationship Rescue. Because everyone trusts an author with a good mustache, right? And this fella is, you know, he's even got the old finger on the side of the head. The courage to love, because my mom was really trying everything and wanted to get her loving confidence out there for my dad to see. Which is, brings us to our next favorite, loving someone gay. Because we've all got somebody out there, whether they know it or not, whether you know it or not, that's, you know, coming out of the closet. And this book will just kind of guide you through as to how you manage that process. Romantic getaways of the East Coast, because if the books don't work, just go camping somewhere, right? Then we got, uh... Eat, pray, love, you know, for the couple that just wants to get divorced and go eat some good food with random people, having some promiscuous se uh, sex. Anyway, moderate drinking. Once again, here we are and hunker down with Corona, and I do find myself drinking a little bit more, so I probably should spend a little bit more time on this one. Anyways, Insomniacs of the World, good night, because if the wine doesn't put you to sleep, just read this book. It was written in 1977, a year where they knew pretty much everything about everything. So you can check that one out. And finally, I'll finish with this one, Getting Firm. The tips to sculpting and toning your body, shaping and toning. This is a book that everyone should have. In fact, I'm going to hang on to this one. Thank you, Mom, for sharing me your wonderful stories. And uh, we'll be back next time, maybe with uh, music from my parents' house. Thank you. Good night.